in America today, the bigger recipient of handouts is not poor people, it's corporations. GE, imagination at work. GE is the biggest industrial corporation in the world. Here's their CEO with President Obama. Jeff Immelt is perhaps the CEO who is most cozy with President Obama. And Jeff Immelt was recently named the country's job czar. I am so proud and pleased that Jeff has agreed to chair this panel. General My Electric is structuring their business around where government is going. So everything from high-speed rail, solar, wind, General Electric is lining up to get what government's handing out. The New York Times reports that government handed out so many tax breaks to GE thanks to their fierce lobbying that despite billions of dollars in profit, they'll pay no taxes this year. Once upon a time in America, companies got money from investors and created wealth by inventing things. 25 years ago, my friends and I started with nothing but an idea. Microsoft did that. They started with nothing and created billions in shareholder wealth. But then... Microsoft is free to compete and compete aggressively, but not unlawfully. The government sued Microsoft for offering people free software at the time. Microsoft spent exactly zero dollars on lobbying. They were busy changing the world. They were busy creating a computer revolution and helping the internet revolution. And for that, they got drawn into court. They spent millions and hundreds of millions defending themselves against the Justice Department. So how much money they spent today on lobbyists? Hundreds of millions of dollars a year. They learned yeah. their ugly lesson. We created a system in which if you don't do it, you're at a competitive disadvantage. A public-private partnership. A public-private partnership. A public-private partnership. Businesses love to have a partner in government. This little window maker must have loved the attention it got by having the vice president praise its products. You're not just churning out windows. You're making some of the most energy-efficient windows in the world. Think getting the vice president was a big deal? Heck, they got the president, too. These workers will now have a new mission, producing some of the most energy efficient windows in the world. Other companies don't get so much government help, but this company gave money to the Democrats. And one of their executives was married to an important energy department official. It sure is nice to get special government help. Thank you, Mr. Vice President, uh, for your unwavering support. Left-wing think tanks criticize corporate welfare, but somehow green handouts, they're okay. Everybody wants to find a better fuel efficient way to go about their daily business. The government's going to invest in certain companies to pioneer new technologies. That, I think, is not corporate welfare. The business is too dumb to invest in it without government saying, do this and here's help. The private sector will only invest if they know for sure that there is a commercial marketplace. But you say everybody wants these things. Isn't that enough incentive for private, greedy businesses always, to make it? The free market does not know anything unless we all collect our interests and say this is of national import to us. Central planning does not work. It doesn't work in any industry. It doesn't work in any, uh, in any kind of economy. But since they're going um, to centrally right, plan, they'll, they'll, they'll give out special favors to the politically savvy people who are best at lobbying budget. for them of at least $200 million is needed. And so the government pours billions of your dollars into projects like the Roscoe Wind Farm in Texas. It's half owned by GE. Even if this wind farm produces nothing of value, they are getting money from the U.S. taxpayer. Maybe we don't need wind turbine. Maybe it's a waste of money. Well, maybe it is, but it should be one thing that we as a nation are investing in so that we aren't left behind. Some of the cleanest renewable energy on Earth. GE would not agree to be interviewed. Maybe that's a good thing if it means companies are now getting embarrassed about the handouts. Thirteen years ago, when I wanted to confront a business about its freeloading, the CEO was so brazen, he flew me to his headquarters in one of his fancy jets. This is gold, is it? Uh, gold plated. Can you get you anything else? At the time, this man was the biggest recipient of handouts, Dwayne Andreas, CEO of ethanol maker ADM. You're a pig feeding at the welfare trough. Why should I care? Doesn't bother you? Not a bit. Many beneficiaries of corporate welfare really believe that they're being paid to help the country. 
what I'm providing is so good that it ought to be subsidized. Unfortunately, a lot of American companies have become mooches off the government. And they go to the government to manipulate the system in their favor. That's what not business is about. That's not what capitalism is about. But today, unfortunately, it is a way for capitalists to free look.